with you with you because simple reason uh, you came here not for some sort of showing or drama or something uh, or not music you simply to come here I think or uh, want to something uh, how to tackle uh, sort of problems or difficulties in our mind. Maybe in you know, the audience some come here just out of curiosity. That's absolutely okay. Then our audience some maybe uh, some Buddhist they come here with belief Dharma or Dharma Dharma might have some kind of miracle power that's nonsense uh, then actually many years ago in London because of Hogan Prasad Albert Hall uh, Albert Hall Hall is our talk I mentioned that uh, among the audience, some may have to sort of think, as I mentioned earlier, just curiosity, that's okay. Some may feel that they don't have some kind of miracle power, they don't know that, that nonsense. Then some people uh, come, maybe hoping they don't have some kind of healing power. Then I go. I myself very very skeptical about all those people who claim they have healing power. So and then I expressed if there is real sort of healing power, heal something, some problems, then I would like to show some eyes of the this problem. So I would like to heal that. <laughs> <laughs> so then, the next day, I received some ointment <laughs> for this itching. So that's a real blessing. That's a real healing. 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 <laughs> like that. So, some people uh, among Tibetan and also you know, some Chinese Buddhists. And so uh, many I think Chinese Buddhists and also some others of Buddhists. Uh, sometimes they believe I am truly the living Buddha. That's nonsense. Uh, then in uh, in the century, some books describe me as a god king. That's a truly nonsense. It's a real Buddhist. You see, no concept of God as creator, first of all. Uh, then, a God thing is the uh, so that. Inappropriate. Uh, uh, then, meantime, some people call me demon. That's also nonsense. <laughs> Another human being, just like you. <laughs> Mentally, emotionally, physically, they are the same. Among emotion, you have anger, uh, irritation, jealousy, uh, attachment. Me too. I also have these things. <laughs> and also, we, everybody, have the potential of compassion, affection. Yeah. Because we, everybody, you see, our life comes from our mother. So we, everybody, grown up with mother's immense affection and mother's milk. So we, everybody, at the beginning of our life, 
we receive the maximum affection from our mother. That is, I think, in our lifetime, the most delicate period, very important for the period, experience received at that moment may remain all the rest of life. So, basically, we start that way. My own case, my mother, very, very kind women, religion, women, no education, illiterate, uh, a farmer, a mother of my thing, all together, including those uh, children died. I think including those, then perhaps I think the mother of 15 or 16 children. So, uh, my mother, uh, very, very kind woman, whenever some poor people, poor person, sort of come around our small home, whatever she got in her kitchen, all at once again. Very, very kind of it. Then, her children, I think we never saw her sort of angry face. We never saw her. I often think, uh, tell one story. Uh, when I was young, two years, uh, three years, I am the youngest of um, children. So nature, mother pay more attention, the more youngest, more infant. Uh, so often my mother carried me on her shoulder, one leg there, one leg there. Quite comfortable. <laughs> um, and then I am a little bit mischievous or naughty friend. I hold my mother's two ear. If I want to go this side, this way, I do this. If I go, if I want to go that side, I am controlling my mother's also the direction to hold in my mother's ear. So that, I think my mother is so kind to me, so I become a little bit spoiled, I think. <laughs> then also, with my brother, and her brother, very nice person, very humble for him too, very humble person. So sometimes I take advantage of him, uh, instead of I said, usually, usually, the elder one, physical also, they feel sort of uh, stronger. So sometimes it's a bully, younger brother. But my case, opposite. Younger brother, occasionally bully by elder brother. <laughs> <laughs> so the point is, we, grown up, that kind of atmosphere, full of affection, full of compassion. Uh, so, I am quite sure today in my mind certain amount of phenol compassion or affection. I think seed of that come from my mother and a little bit of nourishing, nurturing uh, during those years with my mother. So I am quite sure here yeah, perhaps 9,000, 10,000 people, those people who at that age received maximum affection in their deep insight, I think better sort of self-confidence, less sense of insecurity. Those people who
who may be very successful. Uh, very good education or very good wealth. But at that period, lack of affection. Home, where atmosphere of living fear, anxiety. I think those people who grown up in that kind of situation, deep inside, some kind of sense of insecurity and also lonely. Because of they received that kind of sort of experience. So they find it difficult to to open the heart. So always a distance. And remain distance often create distrust. Since trust is the basis of genuine friendship, so remain distance, distance from other people. That those such, such people are very difficult to find genuine human friendship. So they live in maybe beautiful house, best facility, plenty of money, but in deep inside remain lonely. So therefore, that, that's just my own sort of story. At a young age, my mother really, really provided immense personal affection. So that's something very important. So we everybody equipped the potential of compassion. So now I think problem at a young age sort of these sort of values still quite fresh. Then getting older and remain an atmosphere where usually too much competition. And too much competition there, distrust automatically coming. Uh, so then, and with brain development or education, then these basic human values uh, remain dormant not further developed. Then the other negative sort of emotions, such as sort of too much sense of competition and desire to cheat, desire to bully and aggressiveness, these become dominant of our mind, of my emotions. So that's why I think on this on this planet about seven billion human beings. Actually, no single one wants trouble or problem. And there are six people, seven billion human beings. Everyone really wants peaceful life, happy life. Nobody uh, wants trouble. Then the amount of trouble or problem which humanity faces major portion of the problem which we are facing is essentially man-made problem. Our own creation. Obviously, these are violence. Uh, not only in this century, but even this century, still some violence, organized violence. <coughs> then, in city or in, in community, sometimes unexpected violence comes back. And younger generation, sometimes in school, also is a sign of violence. <laughs> then, some other form of violence. Uh, Negligent, 
not been serious about this camp region before. This has also left it taking care about the environment, about the weather conditions, so, the global climate, global climate, global warming. So this, uh, due to that, some extra problems. This essentially meant it problem. So then, no matter what goal the method, unless carrying method, reducing method, you won't get satisfactory results. That's law of science. Law of nature.
research, investigation is extremely important in every field, every field, very very important. So, in order to carry research or investigation effectively, properly, we have to look at that from various angles. Sometimes physically very much tired and exhausted. 